In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can convert between Kc and Kp. So recall that Kc is the equilibrium constant that you can use for just about any reaction, whereas Kp is the equilibrium constant that you have to use for reactions where everything is in the gaseous state. So you can see here the relationship between Kp and Kc. Kp equals Kc times RT to the delta N. R is the gas constant. It's 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over mole times Kelvin. T is the temperature in Kelvin, and delta N is the number of moles of gaseous products minus the number of moles of gaseous reactants. So let's do an example problem here. I'm gonna tell you that Kp for this reaction right here is 0.33 at 150 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna ask, what is Kc for this reaction? So, of course, we just have to set up our equation and plug in our variables. So I plugged in 0.33 for our Kp equals Kc, because that's what we're solving for, I left that as a variable, times 0.0821 for our gas constant, times the temperature, and this is very important, the temperature must be in Kelvin, but it was given in Celsius. So to convert it to Kelvin, I added 273.15 to 150. And then my delta N up here, you can see is negative one. And I got that by subtracting the number of moles of gaseous reactants from the number of moles of gaseous products. We had two moles of gaseous products, two moles of gaseous products minus three moles, one plus two, three moles of gaseous reactant. So two minus three is negative one for our delta N. So at this point, it's just algebra. You isolate your Kc and you find that it is 11.46. One last important case I'd like to discuss is the case where Kp is equal to Kc. So think about when that would occur. Well, think about if delta N were to be zero. If this were zero, well then RT to the zero, anything to the zero power is one. So when delta N is zero, Kp equals Kc. And what does it mean for delta N to be zero? Well that means we have the same number of moles of gaseous products as we do gaseous reactants. So when you have the same number of moles on the reactant side as you do on the product side, Kp equals Kc. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a comment and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.